In this video, I will show you how to configure side-to-side -side VPN with Microsoft Windows Server 2016 or 19. In this purpose, I need to install routing and remote access service on both machines, or I mean on both sites. Here, I have two physical machines. On these two physical machines, I have two virtual machines installed. The name of these virtual machines are KVM1 and KVM2 and on the second physical machine DVM1 and DVM2. And in this case KVM2 will act as the gateway and on the other side DVM2 will act as the gateway. And I am going to build a tunnel between KVM2 and DVM2 so that KVM1 and KV, uh, DVM1 can talk to each other because these two uh, machines are on uh, two different networks. Okay, now let's configure the gateway. Okay, let me go to KVM2 and do the configuration for the VPN gateway. Here my public IP on the public adapter is 2.2.1 and the LAN adapter is I already installed this feature routing and remote access. So I have the tool available. So let me go to the tools and click routing and remote access. And then right click and configure this feature. And I'm choosing custom configuration and uh, demand dial connection for the side-to-side -side VPN and just click finish and start the service. Okay, once you start the service, go to the network interface and then create a new demand dial interface and give a name. And here I'm choosing IKEV2 and I need to type the remote gateway address and then I need to create a user account. Already I created the account so I need to give the passwords and everything and here I'm entering the remote networks that is 192.168.10.0 network. So let me confirm it by going to DVM network. Okay that is 100 dot network. Now I go back and enter the remote network. So 192.168.100.0 network and give the mask and choose a metric. Metric can be a number less than 255 and click next and give a password. The username is branch router, the name that we created earlier. And here you can leave it blank and click finish. Okay, one side is over. And then for the security purpose, uh, we need to add the password. Okay, because uh, this is a secure layer. So we need to give a pre shared key for authentication between these two gateways.
so now one side is over now I need to go to DVM to machine So here DVM2 is a similar setup, two adapters, one adapter is public and here it is 2.2.2.2 because it's a lab, 2.2.2.2 because it's a lab environment. So DVM2 and KVM2 can see each other. And the private network is, as we know that it is 192.160.100 or zero network. So that is one and our machine is two. In this machine also, I already installed routing and remote access feature. Now that tool is available in tools. Uh, here I'm actually trying to check uh, 192.160.50.1 can reach from DVM1 or not but it is not reachable because there is no connection between these two gateways. Okay, So we must establish this connection once we finish the side to side configuration. Okay, So the remaining configuration is DVM2 gateway. So let me open this uh, routing and remote access tool of uh, DVM2. Enable the feature. Here I think I have uh, I need to disable the previous configuration now. So let me disable the feature now and then I will enable it. That means I had a previous configuration. So let me remove all the previous configurations. And now I'm going to do a fresh configuration and then click next and choose a custom configuration and choose demand dial connections for side to side VPN. Okay, now we need to select the network interface. And then right click and create a new demand dial interface. And give interface a name.
and here also I need to choose IKE version 2 this must match with the free I mean the other gateway so the remote IP is 2.2.2.1 and add a user account here I'm not adding a user account and give the remote network that is 192.160.50.0 And here, I need to configure the username and password that I have configured on the uh, previous gateway. Okay, that was branch router and uh, passwords, right? Okay, so done, and remaining configuration is for the security and. Uh, Go to security and use the free shared key that must be the same as in our first uh, gateway and now we will try connecting the gateway so go and connect and wait and see yes it is connected now there is a gateway between there is a tunnel between kvm2 and dvm2 now dvm2 can reach the kvm so DVM1 can reach KVM1, I mean those two networks. 50 network and 100 network is now connected through the gateway. So if you go back to KVM1 and try to ping from KVM1 to DVM1, it will work for sure, right? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.